Hello students and friends. Welcome to Homeopathy Medicines. Today in this Homeopathic Materia Medica lesson, I will discuss about Homeopathic Medicine Hydrastis Canadensis. Before starting this video please subscribe to this channel for learn homeopathy online free and homeopathy materia medica. We need support from you to make this channel more beautiful and more informative. Now going to discuss about hydrastis canadensis its uses and symptoms. Acts especially on mucous membranes, relaxing them and producing a thick, yellowish, ropey secretion. The catar may be anywhere comma throat, stomach, uterus, urethra comma it is always characterized by this peculiar mucus discharge. Hydrastis is especially active in old, easily tired people, cachectic individuals, with great debility. Cerebral effects prominent, feels his wits sharpened, head cleared, facile expression. Weak muscular power, poor digestion and obstinate constipation. Lumbago. Emaciation and prostration. Its action on the liver is marked. Cancer and cancerous state, before ulceration, when pain is principal symptom. Goiter of puberty and pregnancy. Smallpox internally and locally. The power of hydrastis over smallpox seen in modifying the disease, abolishing its distressing symptoms, shortening its course, lessening its danger and greatly mitigating its consequences. J. J. Garth Wilkinson. Mind, depressed, sure of death, and desires it. Head, dull, pressing frontal pain, especially connected with constipation. Mild jet pain in scalp and muscles of neck, submissive. Eczema on forehead a long line of hair. Sinusitis, after coriza. Ears, roaring. Mucopurulent discharge. Deafness. Istashin guitar, with high-pitched voice. Nose, thick, tenacious secretion from posterior nares to throat. Watery, excoriating discharge. Ozaena, with ulceration of septum. Tends to blow nose all the time. Mouth, peppery taste. Tongue white, swollen, large, flabby, slimy, shows imprint of teeth, murk, as if scalded, stomatitis. Ulceration of tongue, fissures toward the edges. Throat, follicular pharyngitis. Raw, smarting, excoriating sensation. Hawking of yellow, tenacious mucus, collie bitch. Child is aroused suddenly from sleep by this tenacious post-nasal dropping goiter of puberty and pregnancy. Stomach, sore feeling in stomach more or less constant. Weak digestion. Bitter taste. Pain as from a hard cornered substance. Gone feeling. Pulsation in upper gastrium. Cannot eat bread or vegetables. Atonic dyspepsia. Ulcers and cancer. Gastritis. Abdomen, gastroduodenal guitar. Liver torpid, tender. Jaundice. Gallstones. Dull dragging in right groin with cutting sensation into right testicle. Back, dull, heavy, dragging pain and stiffness, particularly across lumbar region, must use arms in raising himself from seat. Rectum, prolapsed, anus fissured. Constipation, with sinking feeling in stomach, and dull headache. During stool, smarting pain in rectum. After stool, long lasting pain, knit AC. Hemorrhoids, even a light flow exhausts. Contraction and spasm. Urine, gleedy discharge. Urine smells decomposed. Male, gonorrhea, second stage, discharge thick and yellow. Female, erosion and excoriation of cervix. Leucorrhea, worse after menses, bov, calxi, acrid and corroding, shreddy, tenacious. Menorrhagia. Pruritus vulvi with profuse leucorrhea, calxi, creos, September. Sexual excitement. Tumor of breast, nipple retracted. Respiratory, chest raw, sore, burning. Dry, harsh cough. Bronchial guitar, later stages. Bronchitis in old, exhausted persons, with thick, yellow, tenacious expectoration. Frequent fainty spells, with cold sweat all over. Feel suffocating when lying on left side. Pain from chest to left shoulder. Skin, eruption like variola. Lupus, ulcers, 
cancerous formations. General tendency to profuse perspiration and unhealthy skin, Hepper. Hydrastis is a slow, deep acting remedy, required in many trophic disturbances, where there is emaciation, catarrhal conditions and ulceration, even malignant ulceration. Defective assimilation. When it is noticed that the stomach is the center of most of the symptom complex. The desires and aversions often give the key to a very complex totality of symptoms. In this remedy the sinking empty hunger with loathing of food is striking, strange, rare, and therefore peculiar. It is characteristic because it is a general of the remedy, and is predicated of the patient. Great weakness prevails at all times. Catarrhal symptoms with thick, viscid, ropey, yellow mucus, sometimes white, from any mucous membrane, with or without ulceration. Deep eating spreading ulcers upon the skin or mucous membrane, with thick, viscid, yellow pus. Induration in glands, in base of ulcers. False granulations that bleed much and easily, on the slightest touch. This remedy has been very useful in the treatment of malignant ulcers. In such ulcers it is often a great comfort to the patient, even when it does not cure, as it removes the offensiveness, modifies the pain and restrains the destructiveness. The burning so commonly found in such ulcers is a strong symptom of hydrastis. When the weakness and emaciation have progressed together for months and years in chronic stomach disease, fainting comes on, and this is also found in hydrastis. In chronic cases, when the tissues have suffered and not the mind. The astonishing absence of mental symptoms except the general discouragement incidental to long suffering and weakness is striking. If it were carefully proved, most likely the mental loves and hates would come out. The symptoms are better during rest. Small wounds bleed and suppurate. The headaches are only such as generally belong to stomach disorders, and prolonged nasal guitar. They are not distinctive. It has cured eczema with thick crusts. The eyes and face jaundiced. Ulceration of the cornea. Thick, yellow, viscid, mucus discharge. Chronic inflammation of lids. Inflammation, thickening, redness of margins of lids. Atarrhea with thick, viscid, purulent discharge. Copious mucus discharge. Guitar of the use taken in tubes with many noises and ears. Ears red, swollen, covered with scales, fissured behind where connected with head. The nose is obstructed with stringy, yellow or white mucus. The air feels cold in the nose, and the membrane is raw and ulcerated. Ropey mucus is drawn from posterior narrows into the throat. Rawness in both narrows with constant urging to blow the nose. Coriza with discharge, scanty in room and profuse in open air. Bloody, purulent discharge from nose. Thick, white, or yellow mucus discharge. Large crusts constantly form in the nose. The face is sickly, shrunken, pale, waxy, cachectic, jaundiced. It is of great service in epithelium of face, nose or lip. The tongue is yellow, large, flabby and spongy. Feels as if burned. Ulceration of mouth, gums, tongue, spreading and burning, aphthy and children and nursing mothers. Excessive secretions of ropey mucus, golden yellow. Excoriation of mouth. In old mercurial cases. Catarl sore throat of long standing, granulated and ulcerated excoriated and burning. Thick, viscid, yellow mucus that can be drawn out in ropes. No appetite, no thirst, loathing of food. Nearly all foods disorder the stomach. Spitting up the food by the mouthful, like foes. And fur. Vomits all food. Retains only water and milk. Eructations, sour, putrid, of food eaten. Empty. Faint feeling in stomach with loathing of food and obstinate constipation with no desire for stool is a combination that must generally have hydrastis. Pulsation in the stomach. Ulceration of the stomach with burning. For suspicious lump in region of pylorus. Weight in stomach after eating. The stomach seems to be only an ordinary sac. Digestion is slow, and tedious. Fullness after eating, lasting a long time. The empty. Sinking feeling is not ameliorated after eating. Sour vomiting. Chronic gastric guitar. Slow digestion. 
This must be a useful liver remedy, for the following reasons, the skin is jaundiced, the stool is light, even white, showing the absence of bile, and there is distress in the region of the liver. In chronic derangement of the liver. Liver enlarged. Heart in nodular. Cramping pains. Colic, flatulence and distended abdomen. It has cured many of the usual conditions that generally attend bad digestion and torpid liver. Intestinal catar and ulceration. Sharp pain in region of spleen. It has cured obstinate piles, ulceration and fissures of anus. Relaxation and prolapsus of anus. Chronic diarrhea with yellow, thin feces, even watery. Inflammation of anus. Stools, bilinous, white, soft, acrid, greenish, much viscid mucus. Heart, nodular stools. Most obstinate constipation, no desire for stool for days. Paresis of the rectum. It cures constipation, when the stomach symptoms agree. In old cases when enemas no longer act, when the feces remain high up, or do not come down into rectum to excite desire, this remedy has been a great service. In constipation or diarrhea with goneness and stomach, trembling in the abdomen and palpitation. Urine scanty or suppressed. Chronic guitar of bladder with much viscid mucus in urine, causing difficulty in flow of urine. Guitar of the urethra. Chronic gonorrhea when the discharge remains yellow in spite of time. Copious, painless discharge. Relaxed scrotum and testes. Offensive sweat of genitals. Thick, yellow, viscid leucorrhea, sometimes white, sometimes offensive. Excoriation of vagina. Soreness in vagina during coition. Bleeding after coition. Uterine hemorrhage. Menses copious. Relaxed. Dragging feeling in pelvis. Intense itching of vulva. Epithelium of mama. Most obstinate catar of larynx, trachea and bronchial tubes, with copious, thick, ropey mucus and ulceration. Rawness in air passages. Catar of chest in old people. The cough is dry, hard, from tickling in larynx. Rawness in chest. Rattling cough. Thick, yellow, viscid, sometimes white expectoration in old people, or when very chronic. Palpitation from slowly progressing weakness. Weakness and stiffness in back and lumbar region, walk about before he can straighten up the back. Must use the arms to rise from a seat. Rheumatic pains in upper limbs. Weakness and rheumatic pains in lower limbs. Ulcers on legs and about ankles, with stinging, burning pains, high, hard edges, painful at night in warm bed. Sensitive to touch. Edema of feet. Warmth and washing aggravate ulcers and eruptions. The skin excoriates easily. Urtic area over body, aggravated at night. Fissures about mouth and anus. Ulceration. Bed sores. Lupus evidence. Thanks for watching this video. If you want more videos like Hydrastis Canadensis, please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. To learn homeopathy course online free with homeopathy materia medica. Comment us your feedback and what you want in the next video. Like and share this video with your friends and family. For paid and free consultancy online, visit homeopathymedicines.com and mashclinic.com. Thank you. Have a nice day. Stay healthy stay happy.